I wake up at about 5 a.m. every day in the summer, usually a little earlier. But I get up at 5 a.m. The first thing I do is I go into the kitchen, I get my coffee going, and I chug a tall glass of lemon water. It's the first thing I do. Get my coffee, sit at my computer, and the first thing I do for work is I structure my day. So I use a program called Wonderlist. And I go in that list and I plan out the things that I know need to happen for the farm every day. So things like, we need to do these orders, these are the orders. I usually have a print up list that we look at and reference. So it's things that we're harvesting, things that need to happen, like these seeds need to be started, planted microgreens, so on and so forth, all the farm things. Then I have a, another list that's a secondary list that is other farm projects that need to happen, but then I also have a list for me that's things I need to do regarding content creation, planning, you know, moving along on big projects, so on and so forth. So that's the, that's the first thing I do. That might take me about half an hour. Once I've done that, I go back into the kitchen and I make my green smoothie or my green juice. I do either or every morning and we usually have both each day. So if we have green juice in the morning, then we have a green smoothie a little bit later, like later morning. So I actually won't have breakfast until about 9.30 or 10 a.m. So usually what that is for me is some kind of high fat thing. It's often butter with toast. Um, I, that's just what I find works for my mind, like high fat with juice really gets me going. Later in the day, I'll have a brunch, but I'm not really a big breakfast guy. The only time I actually have, that I take the time to have breakfast is on Sundays, and my girlfriend and I will, well usually I'm in charge of breakfast, so I'll make like a, sort of a traditional breakfast. Um, that's usually non-traditional because we always have juice and smoothies, but sometimes we're literally having bacon and eggs and toast on Sundays. But for the most part, we don't have breakfast in the morning. We just have our juice or smoothies and some kind of protein or high fat thing to keep us going. Once we get into afternoon, then we start to eat more traditionally salads for lunch or we have a pretty healthy diet consisting of mostly local produce. But so that's, that's how I get my morning going. It's all about structuring what I know needs to get done and I do that early on because I find my mind is at its most creative early in the morning. You know, in, early in the morning there's no distractions. Like, you don't have people calling you. You don't have people asking you for things. It's just you. So I find it's super crucial in the morning to just, at least for those first two hours, to just crank out a bunch of stuff. The planning, content creation, so ideas for things, concepts, stuff like that. I write it all down. I use Wonderlist for my uh, structuring of the day. I use a program called Evernote, which I use for ideas, things like that. And that kind of gets me going. So the, my whole end goal here is to have my day totally structured and planned before I get out there and do it. Because once I get into afternoon, I'm more or less on autopilot at this point because you can get overwhelmed, you can get derailed. Like I won't look at emails until later in the morning and sometimes those have a tendency to derail you. Like you get somebody who's got a crisis, you need to, there needs to be some fire that needs to be put out or something like that. Those can derail you. So why it's so important for me to have structure in the morning is that if I do get derailed, I can go back to center. I can immediately go, okay, let's go back to what my original plan was and make sure that you're, I'm doing that. It's all about being true to yourself and true to what you need to get done. So that's basically how I start the day. So it's the, the, the big glass of lemon water in the morning followed by some coffee and then I have my green smoothie or my green juice. That's how I get going and that's how I crush it every day. I literally work from 5 to 7 p.m. every day. Of course I have breaks in there. Of course I take time for lunch and in the summer I take a 20 minute nap after lunch in the winter not so much because I usually sleep more in the winter because I'm in bed by 8 p.m. because it gets dark by then now. But that's how I do it, guys, and I would love to hear how you do it. I know we all have different routines out there, and I'm not here to tell you that my morning routine is the morning routine. Everybody's got different needs for their body, 
different cultural needs or things that they're used to traditionally and that's totally cool but that's how I do it. I put it out there because I had a lot of people asking me and I figured I'd finally do a video on it. So I hope you guys have found that helpful. If you want to see more content like this, please hit the subscribe button right now. Like and share these videos with your friends and leave your comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys do. All right, we'll see you soon.